What's going on everybody? Thanks for clicking on today's video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kirk and I'm at the Dial of Destiny red carpet. All right, so much like a classic Indiana Jones adventure, this began on a plane, uh, unfortunately not traveling by map, uh, but I hopped on a plane and flew from Denver to California where I was met by my brothers of the California Jones. We caught up over a few Guinnesses and had a great night before the day of the premiere. Yes! Shots, 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 shots. Try again. Yeah, and we circulate some for After a nice little workout in Morgan's apartment gym, we got suited up in our indie gear, hopped on the subway, and made our way to the Dolby Theater in Hollywood, where we were met by dozens, if not hundreds, of fellow indie cosplayers, all waiting to get into the red carpet. This is wild. It was so much fun catching up with friends I hadn't seen in years or meeting friends I'd only known online for the first time. That's the crazy thing about this Indiana Jones cosplay community. We're all friends, but sometimes we haven't met yet. We have so much in common that we can meet for the first time, but pick up a conversation as if we've known each other for 10 years and no time has passed at all. <laughs> Walking the red carpet of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny was the most surreal, but one of the most incredible experiences of my entire life. I've never been to a red carpet or anything like this before, so this was all very new to me, but it was incredible. And what made it even more special? was sharing all of these experiences with my friends in the Indiana Jones and cosplay community. Fellow people who relish these experiences and who soak it in just like me. When we entered the red carpet, some of our group got to go into the fan pit where they got to see and take pictures with the cast and crew of Dial of Destiny. Whereas my group had an equally awesome experience getting to hang out with some of the screen used costumes and props of the movie. When the time finally came for us to enter the majestic Dolby Theater, the fun didn't stop there. In fact, it was just getting started. My group hung out in the lobby where we got to meet incredible people like the man who edited Dial of Destiny, Gabriel Iglesias, and even Kathleen Kennedy. The theater itself was incredible. When we found our seats, the cast and crew, and even Steven Spielberg and George Lucas introduced the movie, but they had one more surprise for us. And that was a brief but mind-blowing concert by none other than John Williams. Hey, Kirk! There we go, man. Nice. So, no spoilers in case you haven't seen it yet, but I absolutely loved this movie. I thought it was the perfect conclusion to this character and this saga of movies. It was beautiful. And full transparency, I cried at least three or four times watching it. And in the three times I've seen the movie at the time of recording this video, I've cried every single time. It's beautiful. After the movie, a small group of us made our way to a Star Wars themed bar and grill called Scum and Villainy, where we had a few drinks, some snacks, and kind of decompressed from the long but amazing day we had. I can't fully express in words how amazing this day was, and I'm so blessed, grateful, and thankful for the opportunity and the invite to attend this. And to close out this video, I just want to leave you with this message. If there's something that you love, something that you're passionate about, and something that you're a quote-unquote nerd, about like indiana jones or cosplay pursue those dreams work hard for it because you never know where it'll take you what wonderful adventures it'll lead you on 
They say, become someone the 10 year old version of yourself would look up to. And I really hope I've done that in this trip. Fortune and glory, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Cheers.